welcome back to Midsynapse podcast. October is a women health uh, month, so we can't pass this month without focusing on screening and awareness about breast cancer. So we are so glad to announce about our guest today. She is Dr. Abir Barakat. She is general surgeon. She will be our guide uh, during this adventure. Welcome, Dr. Abir on board. Hello, thank you uh, for this opportunity uh, to talk about uh, a very important health issue about uh, breast cancer and awareness and a screening program. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for your time and uh, thank you for being on my side today. Dr. Abir, she is, it's a very critical point, uh, cancer, uh, breast cancer awareness and screening. Till now, um, a lot of women discover they are cancer patients, but in the last stages. So it's make uh, like we need miracle to recover. So it's very important and a critical point. So uh, Dr. Abir, what are the common misconception about breast cancer screening? Uh, okay, thank you for this uh, good question. There is a lot of uh, common misconception about uh, breast cancer. For example, women, I think only uh, women with the family history of uh, breast cancer can got breast cancer. With this, uh, uh, this uh, information is uh, totally wrong because uh, a lot of women without any family history of breast cancer can have breast cancer. Also, uh, the women also afraid about mammogram that uh, there is risk of uh, radiation. But uh, I want to reassure uh, this woman that uh, mammogram have a little uh, amount of radiation, so it's totally unharmful, and uh, we can do this is screening safely. Uh, also, uh, there is a misconception about uh, that breast cancer just affects old women. This is nowadays totally wrong because we saw a lot of cases with young women have breast cancer. For example, we saw like um, a lady uh, about uh, 18 years old that have breast cancer. So this is, is not right. Yes, it's very bad news. We have to take care about our health more than that. So, Dr. Abir, how can we improve the accuracy and the effectiveness of breast cancer screening methods? Uh, firstly, uh, we can uh, do like uh, personalized screening uh, and adjust uh, how often and uh, the kind of screening of uh, women uh, get uh, on uh, based on the risk. Uh, factor like uh, family history if uh, the female have a dense uh, breast and this is can help uh, sure that uh, we can detect breast cancer early and we can also use better technology like 3d mammogram this is uh, now uh, in the market it's very good uh, tool for uh, early detection even small tumor in the dense breast so we can use this also, the AI uh, now very promising in detecting uh, small lesions, uh, and it can uh, help and assist radiologists in this field. This is very important. Also, there is uh, additional tests like uh, doing complementary ultrasound for uh, female with high risk and doing MRI also for uh, female like uh, have uh, family history or strong uh, family history of breast cancers. This is very important. Great. Dr. Abir, there are a lot of barriers to prevent women from screening and to care about her, their health. So what are the main barriers that prevent women from getting regular uh, a checkup and screening? Yes, this is very important uh, issue. There is a lot of barriers like fears. A lot of women fear that they will uh, get the diagnosis of breast cancer if uh, they go and they screen themselves and uh, a lot of women they are uh, not uh, comfortable by, to do mammogram um, maybe they feel uh, shy or they don't like uh, the procedure also cost and uh, the access of uh, the screening program and doing mammogram is a very challenging problem because there is a lot of uh, area like cooler area on in the developing uh, country we cannot uh, have this uh, screening uh, tools or mammograms or MRI or ultrasound. Also, there is lack of knowledge. Uh, some women, uh, they don't know the importance, you know, of uh, regular screening and they don't uh, think that uh, they are in risk. Uh, there is no family history. They are young, uh, fertile, have children. And uh, this is all factor cannot uh, eliminate the risk of breast cancer, as I said. Also, there is cultural stigma about breast cancer or having breast cancer. 
and uh, this uh, should be changed uh, nowadays. This is uh, not uh, the truth. Also, um, the female, maybe sometimes they are uncomfortable by taking uh, get help or uh, like examining by uh, male doctors. So here, our uh, action as a female surgeon to encourage uh, female to come to us, because nowadays there's a lot of female uh, surgeons. I think uh, we can distribute this female surgeon according to uh, programs and uh, campaign to help this uh, shy woman to come and to uh, have a breast cancer screen. Great. Dr. Aviri, you already mentioned a lot of barriers. So how can we address these barriers and motivate more women to uh, proceed the breast cancer uh, screening? The most important things is uh, to educate uh, this woman about the importance of screening, like running community programs and inform women about the importance of early detection that can help uh, to reduce the fear and misunderstanding of the breast cancer that is a fatal disease. Also, we can make affordable screening, offering low cost or free screening for uh, this female. Not uh, everyone should pay for uh, to having mammogram. This is, I think, is a governmental issue to afford uh, this free screening. We can work with this. Also, we can have a mobile clinic as uh, the social media now in every uh, house. This is very important because uh, it can bring in screening even until uh, uh, to the rural area that we cannot access uh, to have uh, a big hospital with uh, this device of mammogram. We can encourage women to come from this rural area to the town by uh, contacting them by mobile, then can also uh, do emotional support and counseling uh, before the screening. This is very important that in uh, we can counseling uh, the patient that breast cancer is not fatal, especially when uh, uh, they diagnose this in early stage. This is will encourage female to come to uh, do mammogram as early as possible. Great. So, Dr. Abir, you mentioned lack of awareness like uh, a main barrier for that um, prevent a lot of women uh, to proceed screening. So, Dr. Abir, what role can healthcare providers play in promoting breast cancer awareness and encouraging regular screening? As I told you, uh, the most important things is uh, to educate patients about the screening, about the breast cancer is not the end of the life, and to build the trust between uh, the doctors and uh, the patient. Um, a lot of women think like, uh, if I uh, uh, got out of, if I have uh, breast cancer and then uh, they do any surgery or any biopsy that uh, the disease will spread. So we need to talk with this patient and reassure them and, and build trust uh, about uh, this misconception. Also, clinic can uh, set up reminder system like calls uh, this patient to come for uh, screening uh, because screening uh, we can do it every year. So we can uh, make appointment and call the patient to come uh, and encourage them to come to the screening by mobile or by text message or by uh, regular calls. Great. So, Dr. Abir, uh, how can we highlight or communicate the benefits of early detection and the importance of regular mammograms to the public? We can tell the patient a real stories about the early detection, how can help, how can save lives. For example, uh, the story of Signal Elisa, how uh, when she uh, did uh, the mammogram and discovered the early the breast cancer in early stage uh, and uh, do uh, surgery and do uh, and doing surgery and doing uh, therapy like chemotherapy save her life now this is very uh, nice story to tell uh, the patient about also, we can use media like social media. As I said, we can use uh, TikTok. We can use uh, uh, YouTube to uh, yes. tell the vision. Yeah, yeah. We can use this now uh, and spread uh, the information about the breast cancer, about the screening program, about the self-examination uh, and uh, uh, to... Uh, uh, encourage a patient to come for a screening.
Great. Dr. Avir, you already mentioned sometimes uh, culture may be a barrier to prevent one from screening. Are there any opposite uh, cultural factor like uh, maybe they influence them to uh, regular for regular screening? According to the culture or according to society, some uh, patients, they know that uh, the importance of a screening program because uh, there is a lot of uh, education program in their uh, institute or in their schools or in their uh, 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 society. So uh, nowadays we so uh, we we see a lot of patients coming and asking for uh, that how to do self examination, how to do a screening, what the, the best or, uh, for me to do uh, mammography or to do MRI. This yeah, there is a very nice story about that. Yes, great. So finally, Dr. Abir, how can we address this culture and social barriers to improve screening rates? We can uh, adjust uh, that uh, thing. Uh, first, uh, we can uh, encourage, as I said, uh, women to do a screening program, tell them uh, the good story about that, the benefit uh, of that. And we can also, as I said, we offer a female doctor for uh, the patient that they don't want to be examined by a male patient. And all the time we tell the patient the disease is not the end. And also to tell the patient that uh, breast cancer is not a stigma. It's a curable disease, especially when we uh, detect it in early stage. Yes, great. Exactly. I totally agree with you. And finally, Dr. Abir, do you need to maybe send messages for a woman to take care about her health more than the current rate? Sure. As uh, we know, the woman is a bad Backbone of uh, the society, the backbone of the family. So we need them to uh, care about themselves and to uh, protect uh, them uh, from any uh, disease, uh, uh, killer disease like breast cancer. As we know, the breast cancer is the first killer uh, disease in the woman, and this is very sad. So uh, when we uh, encourage this uh, woman to come and uh, to do early uh, screening and to detect the disease in early uh, stage, I think we will save a lot of uh, female life, huge female life for sure. Yes, exactly. I want to add a little thing. It's not only save a lot of women, we will save a lot of families as it's really backbone for family. It's not related to a medical condition. It's effect. Uh, quality of life for uh, total family that's it it's very critical and very important for all women to take care about your health not only in october we will focus on it but along the year we will focus on your health that's it and finally i need to thank you so much dr abir for being here and enhancing more uh, and improving patient awareness especially as you mentioned it's a killer medical condition uh, maybe worldwide not only in a specific region Thank you so much for being here and sharing the valuable insights and the valuable resource for all women. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you.